He like doesn't even care that no. we're standing right here. He's kind of fluffy. <laughs> morning my friends I'm not sure why this video looks so smoky it's not smoky in here it's early though it's 6 36 in the morning right now I'm headed fishing David and I are gonna see if we can pull a bigger alligator gar out of the water this morning feels good to be up early although I did not get enough sleep last night I'm very tired it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be a whole lot of fun it's morning time I'm tired you can probably see that in my baggy old eyes but look at this the Sun hasn't even come up yet we're about to get a freaking beautiful sunrise you guys know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna catch you the biggest alligator gar you ever did see. And we're gonna kill it. The girls aren't here. We're just gonna murder it ruthlessly and for no reason. We're gonna abandon it and we're gonna leave its body out here for no other reason than just a senseless act of murder. Oh, speaking of murder, this is creepy. Uh, I went to a movie last night and my buddy told me that he read an article of a body that was found in the Trinity River, which is the same river that we are fishing in. Apparently it was this guy, he was a SMU officer. He got caught in a flash flood and it washed his vehicle and then took him out of the vehicle and they couldn't find him for like over a week. And then they found him in the Trinity River just north of Dallas, caught up in like a brush pile. And the only way they could identify him was by his dental records. And so that means his body was badly disfigured, which could mean that guards were just eating him while he sat there in the water. So this river is super clean and super nice. Just wanted to tell you that story. Guys, it's not always easy waking up super early in the morning. This totally makes it worth it. Look at this. It's so pretty out here right now. I'm into it in a big way. We can already see fish jumping. We're gonna hook something nasty and big this morning. Hey David, you think you'll actually catch something today? I sure hope so, you've been wasting my time. Four or five, he says. I mean, I've caught one fish to his zero, so. A lot to be said there about the fishermen. What's going on? No fish. You're right. You did. Those turtles. Yeah, I uh, cannot believe you okay. just caught a freaking turtle. Did it get him through his neck? Woo! It was the, this stuff was just tangled up in him. Caught a turtle. Well, now we know it's been eating all your stuff. Yeah, the gator gar aren't really biting right now. This turtle's just chewing on our junk and swimming it around. He got caught up in the little bit of line we have on here, and he's free, though. He's happy. Well, look at that right there. Do you see that coming out of the water? I can't see it from my angle. Is it huge? Whatever's cresting the water right there is not a turtle. No luck catching gar. Nope. Unfortunately, this morning uh, we did catch a turtle. I don't know how well you saw that. I think that's it. I think the gar just like to sleep in. They're probably party animals, party fish. It's Friday night, or it was. They stayed out late, so they're just sleeping. I think sunset is the best time to cast and catch those things because we were getting some like taking the bait down, but nothing that we could hook and pull in. We're gonna go to White Rock Lake, see what we can pull out of there. I might rig up for catfish and see if I can snag one of them fatties. Only a few short moments after arriving at White Rock Lake, a suspicious vehicle pulled up. We watched cautiously as a hefty middle-aged woman that I had mistaken for a man exited the vehicle with a metal cage in hand. From a distance, we could see she had a creature inside the cage, which she proceeded to set free in the field in front of us. This creature, clearly having no fear of humans, ran straight toward us. I felt it my obligation to turn on the camera and capture some footage of the mystery animal heading our direction. We've reported our findings to the Fish and Game Department to assist us in its identification. For now, I can only describe it as a retarded kitten, and until proven otherwise, I will maintain that belief. That's a possum right there. I don't like possums. 
They're like giant rats. This lady literally just rolled up, opened a cage, and dumped a possum out. So she's like trapping him and just letting him go. And then this fool just ran up right next to us. So why not film him, you know? They're creepy though, and they have rabies, so don't hang out with possums. Oh my gosh. We're pretty determined to catch a fish today and we're not having a lot of luck. This is Turtle Creek, which is surrounded by multi-million dollar homes in this area. It's a cool area. And uh, we've seen little, little splashes and stuff, but nothing biting. So we're gonna see if we can find something up here at the waterfall. Oh, crikey. We appear to have found a natural spring just running into this beautiful puddle here. Might fancy a sip here in a moment, I'm parched. Artesian well right there is what that's called. Hey David, how come your uh, shorts are wet? Uh, I just peed myself. <laughs> Literally was standing over here watching. David slipped, slid all the way down in this waist up to water. You know what? Now he's know. wet. It's just like you're completely powerless. It is. I, I watched I, it happen in slow motion. I started falling. I was like, this is yeah, it. Nothing. I'm going in. Nothing. I'm just happy that it's not in the gator guard infested dude. True. His phone was in his pocket, and his pocket goes underwater. He jumps out, grabs the phone, puts it under his shoulder while he's gathering himself, and dr drops his phone in the water. <laughs> and he already fell once earlier today. So today's not our day. I just lost two rigs right here. You just lost another one? Yeah snagged and I was pulling back and it popped right off so we may just be total failures our luck was too good catching that first alligator gar and now the world is trying to make a mockery of us so mark my words I'm gonna catch a fish today no matter how big it is yes in about five minutes okay I'll have the camera ready I'm pretty much done because I don't have any more gear left so I'm gonna watch him and see if he can pull something out who knows there it is, there it is. look at this beast reeling in did you lose it Oh, he was on. Dang. It's almost the first fish of the day. That had to have been a three or four incher. Oh, is he off the hook already? Oh, dude, he's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah, there's a little bluegill. First catch of the day, he's a whopper. It only took us all morning from about seven o'clock this morning till right now. Oh, those are cool. It is a bluegill. Little bluegill. First catch of the day. How do you feel, man? I feel like. I can go home happy. Woo, there's another one. Little bluegill, hold him up. Oh yeah, ooh, I actually got him, legitimately. Yeah, that's a good hook. Woo. Congratulations. Well, we've each successfully caught something today. So I mean, it's still home. satisfying. You can go home happy. Little bluegill. <laughs> All right, little buddy. Give it a minute. I help you out, man. You're free. No more hook. Catch and release. That's nature's way. Should we kiss him? Kiss him, and then gently let him back with a nice pet down his spine. Oh, he dove. Okay, <laughs> that works too. Oh, wow, dude, they are so quick. They are. He lives. He lives to be caught another day. I got his juice on my lips, so we're in love now. Yeah, you're probably going to get hepatitis. Me and Bluegill, I hope. I already have AIDS, so it's like stack them up, you know? So here she is, my phone. Broke it, trying to fish next to one of Dallas's most premier natural waterfalls. It's one of 80 waterfalls in Dallas. 